What's up guys, before we start the video, I just want to mention that this is an update slash mail video and there's some things I added at the end of the video I probably should have put a lot sooner. Ferguson Steele's daughter is still in the hospital. She has been critically ill for the past week and a half on life support. So I'm going to post his Instagram down in the description along with the GoFundMe and let's all pray and hope that that baby makes it home. Also want to give a big shout out to all my mods and everybody that helps me behind the scenes. I love you all. Hello! Wow, that was loud. What's up, Mad Army? And here we are, the beginning of summer 2021. And uh, as probably all of you know, based on all the posts that I've put in the community section, uh, you know, we did it. We, uh, we found us a house in a very slim market and uh, we bought it. But that's not all I wanna talk about in this video. Uh, we're gonna open some mail and uh, there are a couple things that uh, I guess you could say a bit of a story that I want to tell you. But first and foremost, uh, let's talk about moving, buying the home, and uh, what's going on right now in its current state. We're going through the process of negotiating, uh, trying to close, inspections. We're going through all this stuff, man, and it's, uh, it's a lot more than I thought it was. You know, buying and renting a home is... Uh, drastically different we've rented our entire life and we decided that we're tired of throwing money to the wind you know it's time to start investing it's time to step up our game not only in our life but with my career as a content creator and we we took the dive a lot of you guys don't read my post or follow me on instagram or anywhere but you'll watch a video if it pops up so that's why i'm addressing this in this video not only are we going through the process of closing uh, there are some things that need to be done to the house before we move in. The seller needs a little extra time to get out. Um, we And they're going to prorate us rent, so that's cool. But we're going to be moving in about a month and some change. And uh, there's still quite a bit we have to do besides move. Now, we are going to have possibly a two to three week window before we move where we're going to make videos and you know produce like we always do. But first, I want to get past all this closing stuff signing documents and i just want this to be cemented completely out of the way so that i can make videos but that's basically why i haven't produced any videos it's because we're going through the process of closing second of all i want to say none of this would be possible without you guys i am at the mercy of you guys i can't thank you does not describe my feelings towards where I'm at in my current state in life. I am so forever grateful and humbled by you guys that I'm able to do this that I can't I can't find the words. Not only have you guys supported me enough to get me to this state, there are Mad Army members out there that helped me with my credit. Uh, and it's just unbelievable unbelievable the support that you guys give me and the only way i feel that i can repay what you guys have done for me is to to produce the best content that i can for you guys which means when we get settled into this new place i am going to work my ass off i'm going to take this community and this channel to the next level throughout my entire journey as being a content creator holy crap the people that are just standing by to try and slap you down i can't tell you how many times flat hey vlad your channel's failing vlad oh look at your numbers they're dropping buddy hey vlad you're not funny anymore hey vlad you're washed up hey vlad your feet smell different hey vlad you should be a vegan hey vlad you should eat goat testicles play the forest play arc you're going down vlad and i hate you Throughout my entire career, this has been the case. There are people out there that want you to fail so much that they'll spend four years clicking the dislike button, hoping in hopes that they'll be counted as two, which is sad. I have, uh, I have taken a route on YouTube, right? That was not conformed to anything else. I took the hardest road anyone can take as a content creator. I am not family friendly. The Outer Middle Show will never 
be family friendly. I have pushed the boundaries with gameplay and jokes and a couple other things, not for numbers. I don't care about numbers. I don't care about the money, even though every engine needs its fuel. Otherwise it wouldn't go anywhere. But I could have easily made cartoon videos. I could have very easily played kid games. I could have very easily made family friendly content and I would probably be about 10 million subscribers deep right now. I could have taken the easy road, but I don't care about numbers. I wanted to build a community of like-minded people, a community that I could relate to, a community that would have my back. I wanted to build not a fan base, but a friend base. And still, I have not seen or witnessed a community as awesome, as supportive, and as generous as you guys. So I do believe I chose the right path. I, I stayed true to who I was. I didn't care about things that didn't matter. I got rid of people in my life that were constantly dragging me down. I got rid of all my friends that were trying to leech, were constantly negative, and didn't really give two shits about me. I took the truest, the truest path that I believe I could have taken, taken, whatever. And I will always remain true to the content, to you guys, and just the community as a whole. But one thing that I haven't really been doing is <laughs> giving back to my sanity. I've been doing this for full time. I've been doing this for four years. Uh, channel's been around for six. Hell, I started a YouTube channel in 2012. So, and I've been playing with cameras for 10 years before that. So I've been creating content for a long time, but I've neglected myself quite a bit. I've stayed true to my path, but I've neglected myself a lot. I got to a point where my health was just fading. My bones were starting to grow into their selves. It was just green light nonstop. There was no breaks. There was no vacations. Anytime we left the house, it was for my daughter's cheer competitions. I've never ever taken a vacation. I've never said, hey, all right guys, I'm going to the Bahamas or Jamaica or wherever for two weeks. See you later. Never done that. Now, a lot of people, especially recently, now I don't blame you for this, but have been complaining about the consistency of my videos. I'm supposed to upload Monday through Friday, five videos a week, okay? And then somebody pointed something out to me that I didn't, I didn't really realize, and that was most of my videos are an hour long. A lot of my videos are an hour long, 45 minutes to an hour. At five videos a week and live streaming for four to six hours on Saturday, that is a lot of time. To make those one hour videos, it takes me usually about six to seven hours to play the game. And then it takes me usually, I have to go all the way through that footage, it takes me about six to seven hours to edit it. Then I have to render it. And then I have to sit through the upload to make sure everything's uploaded right. And even still, Things sometimes are messed up. I have a lot of technical issues with my sound mostly, but I've, I think I've figured those out in the past month or two, but that's besides the point. What I'm saying is as far as content versus time, I'm doing really damn good. Most people's gameplay videos are anywhere between 10 minutes to not even 30. And most of those content creators are only putting out one to two videos a week. So I'm what I'm really good at is, uh, <laughs> I guess you could say writing checks that my booty hole cannot cash. In the very beginning of my channel, I remembered I said, you know, we get this computer built. I'm going to put out two, two videos a day, seven days a week. Boy, oh boy, did I not realize what that entailed or consisted of because that is literally impossible. Unless I'm not editing the videos and I'm shooting and uploading, maybe maybe I'll be able to do it then, but even then that would suck. So I dialed back. I said one video a day. That still takes about 13, 14 hours to do. So then I was like, all right, five days a week, but wait, I'm still live streaming on Saturday. So that gave me one day, not to take off, but to catch up. And I was doing that pretty damn well until I had a child. And that takes up a lot of time. 
not saying that my child threw a wrench in what I was doing. You, you know, you have a lot of responsibilities when you have a child. And uh, my child, being of my DNA, is the most rambunctious creature that you could ever put together. Okay? I love her with all my heart. I love both my daughters with all my heart. But that goes back to the point that uh, most YouTubers that are putting out a video a day, they don't have a family. Well, they don't have a, you know what I'm saying, a household with kids. And when I started YouTube, Abby was already like six years old. She could pretty much, you know, take care of herself, run around the house. And, you know, we didn't really have to keep an eye on her. But man, oh man, when Chloe came, that kid is uh, busy. Not only do we have cheer competitions to keep up with, a house to keep up with, three girls I have to keep happy. It became, man, it's a lot of work. And I welcome that. I love working. I love a lot of work. But this work consists of sitting in a chair, which means I'm <laughs> not really getting exercise, which is something I'm used to because uh, I used to be a bodybuilder and a power lifter. My body has went through many transformations. <laughs> so what am I getting at? Am I saying, well, I'm just going to produce less videos? No. This house has been very hard for me to create content in. My room, my studio is right next to everything. This house is built weird, it really is. There's no hallways, it's an open floor plan, and all the living is right next to my door. So I have to edit out kids screaming, I have to stop what I'm doing when one kid screams because she's biting the other kid. Uh, it, it's, it's rough. And then it's like, I gotta take one kid to school, and then I gotta buckle one in, and then we gotta figure out what we, yeah, it's just, it's nonstop. Like I said, when I had a full-time job, it was easier because I left. I was gone. I worked my ass off and I loved it. I was chilling with my friends at work. We'd laugh all day and I'd come home and it was my time to do nothing. Nothing. I didn't have to worry about producing anything. I didn't have to worry about nothing. So I worked my 12 hours when I worked and I got four days off and then I got three days off. So when you do this YouTube thing, a lot of people think that it's easy. This is the hardest thing I've ever done in my life. It is also the most mentally straining thing I've ever done in my life because when I also when I worked a job, I could turn my brain off and just work because I knew what I had to do. It was the same shit every single day. With this, it's different every single day. So just kind of giving you an example if you want to be a YouTuber, what to expect. This shit ain't easy and it's expensive as fuck. Okay, now that that's out of the way, again, I want to thank you guys for putting me, putting me in this position. Uh, this new home is going to enable me to work harder and be more sane because I have my own floor to get away from everybody and to work. Focus on work, not get interrupted, and then go about my day. So you're going to get a more healthy Vlad. You're going to get better videos. I'm going to feel better. I have taken charge this year and uh, focused on myself, my health. Um, I have lost 23 pounds since February. And it's still coming off. I'm feeling better. The creative juices are flowing through my veins. Once we get moved, once I get settled, it's go time, baby. And when I say go time, I mean I can see that million subscriber mountain. We're coming for it. And then after that, I don't give a shit what happens. I don't care about numbers. I'm done with fucking numbers. Okay? I want that gold plaque. And then I want to keep going. And keep going. And keep going. And then keep going some more. I want to constantly better myself, better my content, find better ways to produce. I want to get to a point where I can have an editor. I want to get to a point where I can have people help me out and manage everything. And that is in the near future. So things are only going to get better from here. Uh, again, words cannot describe how thankful I am for all y'all support. I love you all, but I still feel we are in the beginning stages of my career as a content creator. Hell, it took me three years to figure out a beard style. For the longest time, I rocked a 90s chin strap. Why didn't you guys tell me how stupid I looked? Well, a lot of you did. <laughs> so, I grew a luscious beard, and I'm keeping it. All right, so, we don't have a whole lot of mail, but we do have some, and we're gonna be opening that here in a second. Now, the story that I've kept from you guys for two years. This is something that I thought was going to cripple me. This is something I thought was going to ruin the channel. Something I thought was going to be the end of me as a content creator. 
Um, being new to all this, uh, I had no idea how to handle my taxes. Okay. And for 2017, I screwed up so bad that the day we signed the papers to move in this house, this house, the IRS sent me a very fabulous letter and said, Hey, you fucked up, buddy. And I ended up owing. I honestly don't want to tell you how much I owed to the IRS. Matter of fact, I'm not gonna. Let's just say I could have bought a brand new car with it. That's all I'm gonna say. And we'd already signed the papers to move in here. My girl flipped out. I flipped out. And instead of crying about it, instead of making a video going, guys, the channel's over, we're, we're screwed. I knuckled down and I got to work. I didn't tell the community, I didn't ask the community to help me out with my, my fuck up. It was my mess up. It wasn't y'all's. I thought about it. I was like, what am I gonna do now? I can either cry like a little baby or I can man up and fix this. So again, I didn't, I didn't tell anybody about it. I didn't make a video saying, guys, I need money. I need this and that and blah, blah, blah. I said, this is my mistake. I'm fixing it. And I did. I produced a lot of sh shit. I knuckled down. I focused. I told my family, we're going to be all right. I promise I'll fix this. And I did. I pulled through it. I paid off my debt, obviously, because you guys watch the videos. But still, I didn't panic. Well, I did kind of panic. <laughs> I panicked hard. Took me a couple days to settle in, man up, work my ass off, and fix a mistake that I made. So that's the story that uh, was hidden from you guys. Uh, I was sweating bullets bad. Now I know how to do my taxes. I self-taught myself how to do taxes for somebody that's self-employed. And I'm on top of it now. So that got cleared. That was another hurdle that I jumped over instead of cowering to. And now, here we are. We are buying a house. And we, we, played, it, we played it safe. We didn't go like to the very top of what we got a loan for. We looked for something that was modest, that had studio space, that was in a good location. And it just kind of just popped up. I don't even know how we got this home, to be honest. Because homes, people are buying homes with cash. So any home that popped up was like, oh, oh, look at this one. This one's good. And then hours later, gone, pending. This house had no offers on it. So we were like, wait a minute, wait a minute. This can't be right. Why aren't it? Why is anybody buying this home? Oh, I got out of focus. So we were like, why is nobody buying this home? So it raised our suspicion. Why is nobody putting in offers in on this nice home? We had no idea. So we did, we're doing inspection. We haven't, there's nothing. The inspector guy said, this home is about as good as it gets. So I don't know if it was fate. I don't know if one of you guys had something to do with that, with magic. I don't know, man, but we got it. And it's, it's, it's unbelievable. But again, we're not going anywhere. We're up in our game, bro. God, I can't tell you how many messages I've gotten from people that it's just nonstop. Just, hey, Vlad, why are you quitting? I don't, I don't even know where that came from. People are saying that I've told them that I'm quitting YouTube. These rumors that just go around, it's just nuts. And, and yes, Normie, unfortunately, is coming back. Along with Simptron, okay? So everybody that left my channel because Normie wasn't around, you don't deserve to be here anyway. Why do you like Normie? What's... <laughs> Speaking of Normie, we might pay him a visit. We might give him the news that he doesn't have to be in the garage anymore. Which is not news I want to give him, but we're going to do it anyway. I don't look forward to seeing his face... All right, let's grab a box. I have a lav mic, so I can I can scoot back and I can still talk. You can still hear me? I'm I'm literally just gonna grab. I've got all the boxes sitting on the thing back there, and we are going to open two Mad Vlad. All right, let's uh let's dig in. What do we have here? Is there any notes? No. Oh wait wait wait! Amazon gift. What the hell? What is this? Whoa! Oh, all right, check this out. I hope it don't have any addresses on there. I don't. I don't know what this is. It's a little gift box. I don't have a clue. Okay, so here it is, the gift. Let's open it. Oh! 
Oh, it's a gift card. No way. Dude, visit Amadon, Am Amadon. <laughs> visit Amazon. All right, peel off for claim code. Okay. Whoever sent that, uh, it didn't have a letter, but thank you. Before it expires, I'm gonna put it in. Redeem gift card. Thank you, man. I really, really appreciate that, dude. Whoever sent that to me, thank you. Hooked it up with 25 bones on Amazon, man. I appreciate that, bro. I love you. Thank you, whoever sent that. It doesn't say. Let me open all... Ah! It does have a note. Hello, Vlad. Hope you and your family are doing well. I try my best to look out for others in prayer. Amazon won't let me write a letter. So just want to say thank you for entertaining me and others during these tough times. Thank you, John. Dude, John, thank you so much, man. I appreciate it. That's awesome, dude. Whoa, this is heavy. This is heavy. Heavy. Okay, let's, uh, yeah, we got us a, another box. I'm so stupid. I'm just, I feel off. I feel a little rusty right now. What do we have here? Okay, read first. Gotcha. Wow, it's wrapped so cool. Oh, this is beautiful. It says, you can read the other letter on camera. Please don't read this on camera. Will not. Gotcha. Oh, look at the, oh my God, the handwriting. You guys got to see this handwriting. Look at that. Okay. Dear Mad Vlad, how's it going? You might remember me as Lady Sunday. I remember you. Or Lady T on Twitch. I wanted to send... Man. Holy hell, this smells good. Wow. I wanted to send you a gift for just being your awesome self. Thank you. I discovered your channel when Phasmophobia Head came out. And I laughed so much I had to subscribe. Thanks to you, I have made so many friends in the gamer community and even purchased a gamer computer and streaming setup. It's not something I want to do for money, I own my own small business, but just to make friends and be a part of a community. As a huge thank you, I handmade you this custom gift set. I hope you like it, and I hope you decide to visit my great state of Louisiana one day. Thank you for introducing me to other great streamers as well, like Morgan and Aunt Debbie. <laughs> And Miss Fire, and even Snipper, LOL. <laughs> My kids and hubby love your videos. And now they call all canned orange sodas crush nuts. <laughs> and they will ask for candy barts too. We will stay fans 100% even if you go family friendly. Not on the Outer Middle Show. Thanks for being such an awesome person, sincerely. Somer, aka Lady Sunday. P.S. When your nose itches, Cajun Superstition says someone wants to kiss you. My nose itches a lot. This this was a very beautifully handwritten letter. Thank you so much for this. It, why did why does it smell so good? What is this? Okay, I'm pull I'm gently pulling it out. Oh wow, this is beautiful. Check this out. Hold on, I, I don't want to mess this up. So it says Mad Vlad, and it's wrapped in tissue stuff or whatever. I don't know what it's called. No wonder it smells. Oh wow. Okay. Oh my God. This smells unbelievable. Space pimp beard oil, bro. Space pimp beard oil. Made with jujuba, jujube oil, organic oil, castor oil, hemp seed oil, rose, rosemary extract, and vitamin E. <laughs> I have space pimp beard oil. I cannot wait to see what that does to my beautiful beard. Okay, here's some soap. This is what smell. What is this, dude? I have never smelled anything quite like this. This is, wow, this is beautiful. So this bar of soap, it's got a gaming controller on top of it. It smells like nothing I've ever smelled. Oh, oils of olive, coconut, sweet almond, castor and palm, water, lye, fragrance, and micas? Oh my God, I'm just gonna keep this in here just to smell it. Okay, what what is, whoa, is this a, this is a bar of soap, dog. It says, Space Pimp Soap Bar. <laughs> it's got the Mad Army logo on the inside of it, bro. I don't, I'm never gonna wash with this. Like, what, what do you use for the fragrance on these? I wish you guys could smell this. But yeah, my, I'm gonna, I'm going to make my girl smell these, and I'm going to see if she says the same thing I do. This is insane. This smells so good. Nature's Indulgence Pain Relief Balm. Hemp oil, cottonseed oil. What is jojoba? Jojoba? Seed oil, peppermint, rice, bran oil, beeswax, and it contains CBD. So are these are these CBD products? 
the lip balm is. Okay. And then we have <laughs> Space Pimp Beard Balm. I've got the whole Space Pimp Collectors set. Thank you so much for this. I will cherish it. And that soap, I'm just going to rub it on my body without water so that I can smell like that 24-7. This is beautiful. Okay, so it says Mad Blad's Space Pimp Beard Kit. It's got a little card telling me everything that's in it. Pretty cool. And the back. What does that say? Welcome to a truly out of this world experience from the biggest space pimp in the galaxy. You got that right. I love it. Thank you so much. I absolutely love it. God, that smells so good. Whoo! All right, man. Uh, we have a big box. It's relatively light. Let's, uh, where's my knife? Where's my kniff? I'm probably hitting my lab mic. I apologize for that. Hello, can you hear me? And I'm dusty too. I got a bunch of crap on me. <laughs> All right. Oh. <laughs> Look at this. There's a note. A gift for you. There's no notes. Oh my God. Oh my God. My little one is going to flip out. If this does what I think it does. All right, let's test it. Wait a minute. Oh, wait, wait, we gotta activate it. Okay, okay. Pulled out the strip. It just shat on me. It is a hippopotamus, which hippos scare me. And it does this. It's a farting hippo. Calm down, buddy. Thank you. Whoever sent this, thank you. My little girl is going to love this. And I say that because anything I put in my room, she has to she has to put her hands on it. And when she grabs this and it farts, it's no longer going to be mine. So, <laughs> farting hippo, you go there. All right, so let's see. We got a box up here. Where's my kniff? I'm not opening, opening these in a safe manner. I just want to let you know. Cut away from me. There we go. Hopefully I don't cut whatever's in the box. There we go. Holy shit, that's deep. Oh. Okay, we got a note. I'm going to grab it. I like that I can just sit back and relax and not have to be on a microphone. It's pretty dope. To Vlad the Impaler, Vlad the Conqueror. Thanks, man, for all the hours of entertainment and laughter. You are a true American hero, my dude. It's such an inspiration to hear your life story and to know you pulled yourself out of that hole. And I'm sure we are all glad you are here because I don't know of another YouTuber that makes the kind of content you do. Anyways, I'll keep this brief. Just wanted to thank you for all the time and effort you put in your videos. I wish I could do more to support you and maybe one day I can. But for now, I just wanted to send you a little something from the wife and I. Really, she made it, but... I came up with the design. This is a replacement for the one we sent. This is a replacement for the one we sent for Christmas mail, for the Christmas mail video that I guess you didn't receive. It showed that it shipped, so I'm not sure what happened, but I'm kind of glad because this one turned out better anyway. I hope you enjoy, my brother. I love you, man. P.S. My wife is sending her business card if you want any more made or another design she can make about anything you want. Adam. Mad Dog, thank you so much. Let's see what this is. And I don't know what happened with the Christmas thing. Ooh, okay. Krista's Creations. Awesome. My The mail system here is just abysmal. Okay. I think I know what this is. Wow. Okay. So it's one of those cups. You know what's funny? I actually needed one of these cups because I am drinking a lot of water and I'm tired of going into the kitchen to fetch it. So this is going to work out really good in the new studio. <laughs> this is cool, man. Check this out. It's probably going to get keyed out a little bit because I still have my green screen stuff on. It says Forest King. It's got me holding Timmy. It's got my logos on it. This is awesome. Thank you so much for this. I really, really appreciate it. I'm going to put this on my shelf for now and, uh, I am totally going to use that. That's going to be the cup that I drink from from now on. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Thank you, Krista. 
And thank you, Mad Dog. All right. Now my desk is filling up. Let's make some space. Oh, shit. Okay. Let's open this box. Whoa. No way. You guys. Oh. You guys sent me another magic mic. Does it work? We are about to find out. There was no note in the box. Oh, I've got to try this. I have to. It's probably going to blow up. Oh, no. I'm out of C batteries. Damn it. I have to post that on Instagram. I have to go get some batteries. Thank you so much for this. This is actually one of the models that I had as a child. Uh, it's the uh, Magic Mic. I think this is... Let me check the other one. Yeah, this variant is a bit off, but it's from the exact same time frame. So, to have this in my collection next to the other Magic Mic is going to be awesome. Thank you so much for this. Seems like the button works on this one, too. I'm, I'm still in the process of rebuilding those robots. <laughs> I'm trying to find parts for them and shit. But thank you so much for this. I really, really appreciate it. I think I've almost collected all of my childhood toys, which isn't a really big collection. But this will go great with it. Thank you. Thank you so much, whoever sent this to me. I'm going to put him up here next to his brother. I'll just put him next to the monkey. Don't touch that monkey. Okay, so let's see. It feels like we have another shirt. Probably to sign. Let's check. And no. What is this? Whoa. Wait a minute. This is my dude from Loki Skate, man. Oh, this is a thick-ass shirt, bro. Big dog. My homies at Low Key Skate. Thank you for this. I really appreciate this. If you guys are interested in checking out their stuff, pretty easy to find. Low Key Skate. Show you their logo right there. Low Key Skate. Dudes, I'm going to put this on my safe. And this shirt is the thickest damn shirt I have ever held in my life. I dig it. Can't wait to wear it. This is going to be the next shirt that I wear. I'm going to put it over here with the hippo. Thank you guys so much from Low Key. You guys are fucking awesome. I didn't see it. Let me check and see if there was not Ah, we got a receipt. I think it's got something written on it. Hey, Vlad, hopefully this package finds you in good health. Thanks again, Loki Skate. Thank you so much, man. I really, really appreciate it. I love you guys, and thank you all so much for all the support, man. It, it means the world. Okay. Let's see. We got this thing. What is this? Sunshine pack to Mad Vlad's. <laughs> oh, what is this? Man, I, dude, I need to get a CD player. I, I just need to get a damn CD player. Let me, uh, looks like somebody has sent me their mixtapes. I don't have a damn Blu-ray player. I don't have nothing, man. I don't have anything that reads CDs, but I'm going to keep this. And I'm going to get something that reads CDs. Dear Vlad, you always make me laugh when you do those fart things. I do that a lot. It makes me laugh when you make up jokes. I especially like your Bigfoot jokes about his penis size. It was funny. I would like to see more scum videos in Hunt Showdown. It has been a long time since you made any of those videos. I would like to send you some of my music that I recorded. If you would like to play it on one of your videos, I give you my permission. If you ever print out any pictures, could I get an autograph? From Cameron. Thank you so much, bro. I need to get a damn disc player or something or a Blu-ray player that can play CDs because I've had people send me Blu-ray movies. I've had people send me music and I cannot listen to them. I don't own a CD player. But yes, man, in the future, I will have one. I don't even have a damn CD player on my computer. I don't have a disc drive, but I will keep this off to the side. Okay, we have, it says snack crate on it. And I think it's from Panda. Yes, it is. Let's open this bad boy. See what's inside. Oh, look at this. She always does this, man. Look at that. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. All right. Read first, please. Will do. I don't want to rip the paper. Oh, hell yeah, man. She sent me some damn autograph pins. Oh, I ripped it. Shit. There we go. I got it. Love her handwriting. Vlad, sorry if this is short and sloppy. My MS and shaking makes it hard to write. The handwriting is still beautiful. I hope to be able to write the long letter I want to send you by your next box. 
I'm writing on something I ordered to send soon. This was just a quick goodie box I threw together to send a fresh batch, batch of special chromatic, what does that say? Chromat Chromatica Oreos. I hope it's not a problem to send. You're totally awesome to throw them out if trying something like that isn't an option. I've used Medical MJ edibles and smoke to control dozens of my symptoms and I'll likely be in the hospital. I would likely be in the hospital without. It helps my nightly myoclonic, is that how you say it, seizures, severe nausea, severe anxiety, etc. I know I'd not be here today without it. I would not be here today without it. Anyway, I can't wait to see your fan mail video with my last box. <laughs> yeah, you know what? This package might have gotten delayed, but thank God it got to me. And that everything gets there in one piece. Included with snacks here. I hear you need good autograph pens. Yes, I do. So I grabbed a gold and silver enamel paint markers at the craft store. If they don't work, you can use them to paint, mod almost anything. I'd love to add your autograph to my collection. So I'll write again in the next box. Hope you're... Hope you're recovered from your illness and feel better. So yeah, this is back when I was sick. I remember that. And yes, we spoke. Thank you so much for this. Now, I know that, you know, THC and, and stuff like that and uh, CBD helps a lot of people. It really does. That's something that it, it actually does not work for me. <laughs> Anytime I smoke or eat an edible, I'm in the corner like this. <laughs> I'm, it, it just messes me up. A few treats from the Hawaiian snack crate. If you want, feel free to give them to your girls. Cool! Thank you so much for these pens. I really did need these pens. Enamel pens. That's awesome. Damn, they're heavy as shit. I'm gonna check out these snacks, bray. Oh, yes, sir. Oh, you messed up. Pretzel sticks! Yes! Oh, God, my girl loves these. Loves them. What are these? Hawaiian chocolate pineapple flavored ball sack, balls, biscuits, sorry. Hell yeah, thank you so much for this. It's always a pleasure to get something from you. Everything is so beautiful, well packed, well written. You are an inspiration and I look forward to your next package. Thank you, thank you. All right, this is the last, what the hell is this? This is the last box. It's an exchange, oh shit. Oh my God. Okay, so it says, this box traveled from Kazakhstan to the U.S. and back while your mailbox was broken. It has traveled more than many Americans. <laughs> it's traveled more than many Americans. Yeah, I'd say so. The box is beat the hell up, bro. Let's, let's open this. Kazakhstan, huh? Isn't that where Borat's from? Hello from Kazakhstan. We're from the U.S., but currently living in Central Asia. We watch your video show often, my husband in particular, since he found your channel a few years ago. We're sending you some of the finest Kazakhstan chocolates. Be sure to savor the flavor. I can promise you that the chocolate is good, but try the horse milk at your own risk. Holy shite. Thank you so much. Did you say horse milk? I'm lactose intolerant, bro. That's, wow. Oh shit, some of the chocolates have shot out the side. And <laughs> all the little bags, the inflatable bags are busted. <laughs> wow, these chocolates do look fantastic though. Check that out. Kazakhstanian chocolate, the finest. I'm gonna try one of those. Is that white chocolate? Oh, okay. I, let me read the, oh, I can't read the ingredients. It's in Kazakhstanian. That scares me a little bit. Open this up. If I start hallucinating, I swear. Whoa, that is strong. That's milky and chocolatey. That's really good. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Thank you for the chocolates, man. There's a bunch of different ones in there. He did say horse milk. What is this? Russia. What the? I can't read Kazakhstanian, but he sent me a coin. I don't know what kind of coin this is, but it looks pretty damn dope. Thank you for that. Oh God, this is this is the horse milk. A, C, B1, B2, B6, and B12. And it looks as though it has been opened. This is powdered horse milk. Holy hell, I can't smell it. Horse milk? Dog, y'all drink horse milk? That might have to be a video all in itself. I can't read anything on it. I don't know. 
<laughs> May have a little bit of horse juice sprinkled in. I can't read that. That's, it kind of scares me, but what is this? Wow. Look at this. Wow, that's dope. Look at this. That is probably the dopest picture I think I've ever seen in my life. That dude is the biggest pimp in all the land. He has a bird on his arm. Let's, or what are these? Chocolate? I think these are chocolates. They all have really dope pictures on them. Yes. Oh, wow. These are chocolates. What kind of chocolates, you ask? Premium chocolate. <laughs> oh, the finest that Kazakhstan has to offer. I can't read that. Oh. 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 That's a dark chocolate. Very dark. Mmm, that's good. I like that. I'm not going to open... Oh, my God. Hello. Those are some beautiful apples she's holding. The most beautiful apple I've ever seen in my life. I dig that. Hello, apple. I'm going to keep this. Thank you so much for all this awesome stuff. I really appreciate it. Let's see. I think we've got a letter or two. Oh, shit. All right. What does it say? It's got his Discord on it. Dear Vlad, my name is Tate and I'm 21. My best friend and I have been watching you all the way back during the first standard Stranded Deep videos, Ark and the Forest. You really helped us find that katana. My family and friends and I love your videos. They make us laugh and brighten our day. I have a baby on the way, and I'm getting married in 2023. I just got done watching your last ever Stranded Deep series. Ran out of vids. L LOL. And I gotta say, fuck Stranded Deep. It made me mad at how they treated you and went about the game. We all know you are the king of the forest and islands. I just got a new PC, and I would love for you to play with me and my friends on Phasmophobia, but I know that it's a big ask. Please read my letter. But keep up the videos, bro, and stay safe. Might send you some crush nuts and some candy barts in the future. Thank you so much, man. <laughs> P.S. Fuck Stranded Deep. Thank you so much for the letter, man. It means a lot. And yes, fuck us Stranded Deep. That was my man Tate. Oh, yes, sir. Dear Mad Vlad, warning. My contact details are concealed in this letter. If you read it on your YouTube channel, please bleep it out. My name is Devin. I have to say, I might be your biggest fan. I do not know any other of your subscribers, but I do know that every video makes me laugh so hard, I stop breathing. I'm not even joking. Stop watching my videos, okay? I don't want to be responsible. I'm joking. I want to start a career in YouTube, and I recently received a PC for my birthday. I was wondering if you could give me a push start to a YouTube career by possibly doing a collab for my first video. I've been playing games for years, and I'm good, so it would not be like you're playing with a newbie. I just haven't had a channel before. If you would be interested in helping me out, you can reach me at 555-658. I'm just joking, okay? Thanks, your biggest fan, Devin. Snow Devil. Thank you, man. Thank you for this. Congratulations on your PC. And I wouldn't recommend doing your first video with me. I would recommend never doing a video with me because my channel's failing, and I might bring you down with me. <laughs> I'm joking, but not really. Thank you for the letter, man. I really appreciate it. A letter and a letter. <laughs> oh, it's a card. Uh-uh. No way. Look at that. Thank you so very much, the Taylor family. Look at this beautiful picture. Look at that beautiful family. So wholesome. So awesome. Thank you, Taylor family. I appreciate this. Thanks, Vlad. You have gotten us through a super sick pregnancy. Newborn twins. Oh, my. <laughs> and sleep deprivation. And now our twins smile every time they see your face on the screen. We watch you every day. And we can't tell you enough how much your humor and gameplays have gotten us through. Some really tough times. Much love to you and your family. Keep it up. Happy thoughts and good vibes. The Taylor family. Marcus, Benjamin, James, and James. P.S. We would love to be featured in a male video so we know you got this. Absolutely. Oh my God. Twins! You, my friend, have a magic wee wee. And uh, the mother, a nurturing goddess. Congratulations on twins. 
Thank you guys for all the support. You guys have a beautiful family. And uh, wow, this just grabs me by the heart and squeezes it. Thank you guys so much for that beautiful letter. And card, by the way. That was a beautiful card. Custom made card. All right, this is the last letter. Next mail video will be in the new crib. Can't wait for that. Oh, God, the handwriting. Oh, man, I'm jealous of all this hand, good handwriting. My handwriting sucks. Dear Vlad, my name is Noah Gernal... What does that say? Gernaldo. Guerrero. My name is Noah from Albuquerque, New Mexico. I started watching your videos about two years ago. I don't even remember what the first video I watched was. But now I watch you on the daily. On the days where I'm not in the best of moods, you always happen to put a smile on my face, followed by some ugly laughing. I want to say thank you for your continuous work of playing some of the worst horror games so I don't have to. Thank you for dealing with the frustrations and stupid Russian games, and thank you for the dumb jokes and microphone hits. I appreciate your work and all that you do. God bless Noah. P.S. I have been creating music for a little while now and would appreciate it if you could give me a follow on Spotify and Instagram. Also, it would be dope if you can give me a shout out to my Spotify and Instagram, only if that's chill with you. Every listen brings me closer to my passion of music. Big Dog, I will follow you and I will post his Instagram and his Spotify down in the description. And if I don't, I am sorry because I have ADHD and sometimes I forget. Okay, but I'm gonna try, seriously. <laughs> Just shut up, lad, all right? Shut your mouth. I will try and I will try my best not to forget. All right, guys, thank you so much for all the gifts. Thank you so much for all your kind words. Thank you so much for every single thing you do, every video you watch, even if you don't donate or support. I don't I don't hold anybody to any stand any standards like that. You know, if you watch my if just watch my videos, thank you. Thank you so much. And before I end this video, I just want to say uh, prayers are still up for my man Ferguson Steele's daughter. A lot of you guys don't know that uh, for the past, I think it's been a week and a half, she has been critically ill in the hospital. And they have put up a GoFundMe, which I shouted out, and it's still in my bio on my Instagram. I will put that link down in the description. We have raised a lot of money for them, and I want to say thank you to anybody that donated and sent good vibes. Whatever your religion is, whatever it is, even if you even if you don't have a religion, send good vibes, pray, do whatever it takes to get this little girl home. I will leave also Ferguson's Instagram if you want to shoot him a message. He's been through probably one of the worst weeks anybody could ever experience. So shoot him a message and let him know that the Mad Army's got his back. And if you want to support the GoFundMe, I will also put that down in the description. And let's pray and hope that that baby comes home. Again, guys, I don't know how long it's going to take to finalize closing. So be patient with me. We're going through a huge transition here. Uh, videos will come up when they come up. And I will keep you updated on Instagram and through the community page on YouTube. If you haven't followed my Instagram, please do. I post a lot of stuff on there. I love you guys. And there's one more thing. One more thing. Hey, Mr. Cool Guy. <laughs>